Hey, how's it going guys? I have here another quick video showing you on how to get the Thunder Helmet in Breath of the Wild. Now, in order for you to do this quest, you need to come to this area right here located on the map. And once you are here, what you need to do is you need to examine the helmet that you see right there on the left. And then a dialogue will start. All you have to do here is go through the dialogue and the quest will start for you now just keep in mind that in order for you to do this quest you need to have already completed the naboris um, temple or dungeon however you want to call it if you don't know how to do that i do have a video that i did on that i did before in regards to beating the temple so just watch that and you'll be good to go i'll also leave a link in the description down below now once the quest has started for you, what you need to do is you first need to come to this woman right here. And I'll be showing you in the map here exactly where she's located if you do want a close up of the town. Now when you speak to her, um, what you'll need to do here is you'll need to provide her with 10 flint. Now once you start the quest here, just go through the dialogue and then she'll tell you that she'll need 10 flint. Once the quest has started for you, I'll show you on how you can get Flint. Now, an easy way that I got Flint was by going to the Elden region. And I mostly spent my time on the Southern Mine, as you see right here. All I did was picked up the hammer and used the hammer on these shiny black rocks. Now, sometimes they'll provide you with flint, sometimes they won't. It's pretty much just by luck, I guess. And once you go around the southern mine and broken all those rocks, you can try exploring the mountains in the Elden region and you should get 10 flint really easily. Now, once you have the 10 flint, all you need to do now is just speak to the girl right here once again and provide her with the 10 flint. Once you speak to her and give her the flint, she'll be thankful and she'll provide you with a reward. Now, for this specific reward, you get to choose on what you want. You'll have three options. And once you pick, um, she'll make that specific item for you. Now, each item from the options that you have right there um, has different bonus effects so she'll tell you what they do so you you get you you'll have the chance to uh, go through them so yeah once you do that the quest has been completed and then we'll move on to the next quest all right so once the quest has been completed what you want to do is you want to make your way through this doorway right here and then just go to the right and go through this doorway and you'll see a little girl right there now here is the map location of exactly where she is now for this quest you'll need 10 wild berries the reason why you need 10 wild berries is because for this quest there is the little girl here who's trying to plant some flowers or something like that and unfortunately here when she tries to plant something and clean the area she always gets garbage the next day so what we need to do is we need to get to the bottom of it and find out who's polluting the area and if you see in the water you'll probably see some melon peels or whatever they're called on the water that are making their way towards the um area where the girl is so all you need to do is just follow it or you can just follow the way that i'm going right here and then you'll see that there is a woman eating a hydro melon now all you need to do is speak to her and go through the dialogue once you go through the dialogue the woman will tell you that she'll stop polluting the area if you can provide her with 10 wild berries once you once the quest has started for you i'll be able to show you on how to get the wild berries. Uh. 
So an easy way I got wild berries was by coming to this area on the map right here. This is located near Retoll Village. Now, once you are here, um, you're going to notice that there are some wild berries on bushes right here. And there's also some wild berries located around uh, this area right here, around the stable as well. Now, if for any reason you don't have enough to complete the quest, what you can do here as well is you can go to the um, Gerudo Highlands, which is the snowy area in the Gerudo region, and you'll be able to find some wild berries there as well. I just found this the easiest way to get the wild berries because it didn't require any sort of effort. But if you do need more, just make your way to the Gerudo Highlands. So once you have the 10 wild berries, just speak to the woman once again. And you just go through the dialogue here. Once you go through the dialogue, she's going to be happy that you brought her the wild berries. And then you have completed the quest. Now, in order for you to completely complete this quest, um, what you need to do is you need to go back to the little girl. And she'll be thankful for, you know, helping her out. And then you'll receive a reward from her and then the quest will be completed. Once that's completed, we'll be able to move on to the next quest. So as you, as you can see here, um, all you have to do is just talk to the girl once again. And she'll provide you with a hydro melon uh, as a reward. And then all you need to do now is move on to the next quest. The next quest will be right in front of you. All you need to do is just walk straight from here and past the doorway. You'll see some soldiers that are lined up and there's a soldier uh, facing them as well. You need to speak to that soldier and you'll start the next quest. Now, just to let you know here for this specific quest, you'll need a hardy durian. Now, in order for you to get a hardy durian, you need to go to the Pharon region. If you don't know on how to get uh, hardy durians, I have a video that I did separately showing you on how to get them and an easy way to get them as well. So I'll leave the link in the description down below to show you that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do for once the um, quest has started here, we are going to have to teleport to the Leviathan Bone located in the Gerudo region. Now, you're going to see here in the map exactly where it is. The Leviathan Bone has a shrine on it as well, which is where I'm teleporting to. If you don't know how to get there, I'll have a video, uh, a link, sorry, I have a link down in the description below to show you on how to get there because I did make a video separately for those specific Leviathan bones as they do have a separate quest as well. Now, once you reach the Leviathan bones, all you need to do is just come to the head and you'll see that there is a woman there. All you need to do is just speak to her. She'll ask you for a hardy durian. Just provide her with the hardy durian and you'll be good to go. Once you do that, just go back to the woman once again and we'll start the next quest. Also, if you are watching this video right now, uh, you might hear some background music compared to the um, Zelda music that the game has. The reason why is because I am trying to avoid any sort of content ID for playing the um, in-game audio. So yeah, if you do hear, um, you know, any different type of music or anything like that, then that's the reason why. I'm still not decide. I'm, I'm still not sure on what to do about that. So yeah that that might be something that you'll hear so once you speak to the woman here 
um like i said all you have to do is just go back to gerudo town speak to the soldier once again and you have completed the quest she'll give you a silver rupee as a reward and then we'll be able to move on to the last quest now just to let you know for the last quest you'll have to do it at noon time only because it doesn't you can't get the quest in the morning or in the night it has to be specifically noon time and it's in the same area as you were before where you got the um, third quest so all you need to do is just speak to this woman right here and she'll tell you that you know her husband is sick and the only cure is by getting a specific monster part now unfortunately i don't know how to pronounce the name of the monster so i'm not going to even try but all you have to do is just get the um, part from that monster and then you will have completed the quest. I'll be able to show you exactly where that monster is and how you fight it. And yeah, so once you once the quest starts here, I'll be able to show you that. So I'll see you guys there. So a quick way that I found to get to the monster is by coming to the front entrance of Gerudo Town. And if you climb the wall right here that you see in front of you, you can actually paraglide towards the sand seals and you can use the sand seal as an easy way to get to the monster. Now you can also rent the seal if you want, there is an area for it, but this is just an easy way without having to waste any sort of rupees. Now the area for the monster is right here on the map as you see on the screen right now. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the uh, approximate area that you're going to be. Now this is the approximate area that you're going to be if you do take the sand seal there. Now once you try to get close to the middle that you saw on the map before, you're going to see that the boss is going to be underneath the sand. Now this boss is attracted to any sort of vibration. So just make sure that it doesn't, it's not really on your side or like it's not looking at you. If it's looking away or in a different area, then just start making your way towards that island. And once you make your way towards that island, just throw a bomb and it's gonna eat the bomb. Once, once it eats the bomb, all you need to do is blow it up and you'll see that it, it's gonna be on the floor and you can just keep attacking it as much as you want. Once you see that it's trying to, um, you know, roll on its belly and go back inside the sand, just make your way towards the island, stand on it, and then just have a bomb ready to throw. Because what it's going to do is it's going to look for something and if it sees the bomb, it's going to eat it. And then just have the bomb ready to blow up as well. And then just keep attacking again. All you have to do is just rinse and repeat this until you have killed the boss. Now, if you do have the Naboris uh, Divine Beast power, which you should if you are doing this quest, then all you need to do is just charge up that Divine Beast power and you'll kill it a lot faster. You'll see me do it in a few seconds here and you'll see how much damage I do to it. So that's, an, that's a faster way for you to kill it. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Once you kill it, just pick up the parts and also pick up the two chests that it drops. And then we'll go back to the uh, quest and finish it.
All right, so like I said here before, once you kill the monster, just teleport back to Gerudo Town by using the shrine that's near the city. Now, once you get there, all you have to do is just speak to the woman that gave you the quest. Just make sure it's noontime because like I said before, she only shows up during noontime. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do after that is just go back to where the Thunder Helmet is. Talk to the girl and she'll give you the Thunder Helmet. And you have completed all the quests inside Gerudo Town. So yeah, the only other quest that's in Gerudo Town is a Shrine quest, if I do believe, if I do believe so. That's going to be a separate video that I'm going to do because that wasn't necessary to get the Thunder Helmet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And if you do have any suggestions on what I should do next, please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.